Hi, I'm Sarah Fox and I'm the 500 word lawyer and I want you to think about not just what you put in your terms and conditions but where you put it. I can't tell you the number of terms and conditions I've received that the second paragraph seems to talk about complaints. What? I'm expecting them to give me bad service? Or the second paragraph tells me what happens if I don't pay on time? 5% interest per month. Well, hmm, that's 60% in a year. Who do they think I am? A bank? Wonga? Please, when you write your terms and conditions, the first thing you should get your clients to read is how brilliant it will be to do business with you. We know that hardly anybody reads their terms and conditions. A few people give it a skim read. Only I and contract geeks like me read them all the way through to the end. But if you're going to get them to read something, get them to read the best about your business. Not how to complain, what's going to happen when things go wrong, or some turgid legal stuff about copyright that you don't even really know much about. Make your terms and conditions work for you and build relationships with your clients. It really helps to create a good bond and that will help you do business. If you want to know more, go to my blog at www.500words.co.uk. You can find out more about how to write your own terms and conditions or what some of those terms that you've copied from the internet really mean.